Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how you are going to process some BTC session that you have um, submitted in batch. A uh, lot of time when you do this because there is some errors that you suppose you have an interface program and it has errors. So you post it in a BTC session so the business can come and change it accordingly. So the transaction for BTC session to process BTC sessions is SM35. Okay. So here you can see anything with this color is error so i'll just show you how you can do so you can click on process and you can say for always click process program and here if you can see process i'm trying to process it and here i might get some error at some point of time so you see now it's processing and here if you see you can see all these things and you might have to change accordingly and all, all, all. So these are very important stuff so like suppose you want you're stuck in this loop and you want to end so you can click end, right yes slash bend and when you finish band processing of batch input session completed and you can click on exit batch input and that's it you're away so very important sm35 you can submit your session here and you can see how many you processed, how many it was not processed, and accordingly all these things. So very, very important, okay? I'm pretty sure everyone you will be using it. Uh, and also sometimes you can get all the recordings that has been created. So I created a recording ZTest13 from here. You can go here directly. And if you click on the back, and you can click also on logs, where what is the error on it? So if you click on logs, it will tell you when it was started these are the errors now let me show you i think it shows some places it shows the error also so if i double click on it didn't post to be processed with errors you see and here you can see log created these are the transactions where it's the error and all those things so it's pretty useful and here you can see the transactions here you can see the different screens so this is pretty helpful okay and uh, any other stuff so these are different statuses that you might be want to do it and also another important thing is all this VTC session gets stored you might want to run a program to delete this um, periodically okay because otherwise it jacks up your uh, your memory in essence Okay, so that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.